Hi Internet, my name is Scott and this is my review of the Christian Democratic Party of Australia, also known as the Fred Nile Group. I'm reviewing all of the political parties in Australia. We have 54 of them. Uh, most people know of one or two, but we do have a federal election uh, coming up in about a week, and so I'm reviewing all of the parties. Okay, so let's talk about the Fred Nile Group, the Christian Democratic Party. So, obviously, uh, by the name, they're a Christian group. Um, we do have a couple of Christian groups in uh, Christian parties in, in Australia. Uh, uh, I would compare the Christian Democratic group mostly to Australian Christians. They seem to be the, I uh, guess, the other big Christian party, uh, to be crude. Um, to me, the uh, the CDP, the Christian Democratic group, Fred Niles uh, party, seem to be a little more, uh, I guess, a, a little less fundamental uh, fundamentalists than Australian Christians. Um, Fred Niles group, uh, on their website, the, the Christian Democratic Party, they state um, that they uh, one of their missions is to, quote, to promote the pursuit of excellence in all fields of human endeavor, end quote. Um, which is kind of nice in a world peace kind of way. Um, Fred Nile, by the way, is, I, I should mention, he's a reverend. Um, reverend Fred Nile. Um, and I think, don't quote me on this, but I think he's from South Australia. I could be wrong. I'm not actually sure of which state he is, uh, he, where his origins lie. Nevertheless, um, let's look at some of their policies. Um, so the Fred Nile Group. Now, they uh, they very much support defence, and they would like to see an increased funding to defence and a strengthening of our traditional allegiances. So that's um, basically the Allied Nations, the uh, which includes the United States of America and Great Britain. I would probably put France in there as well these days. Um, there's more than that. Uh, thinking about history, India is probably one of them. Um, they're, you know, obviously they, they're very much for supporting the traditional allegiance of, of Australia. Um, yeah, so they, they do have some concern with foreign policy. Um, they have a policy on Islam um, where they mention terrorism and they mention that uh, sometimes um, violence is related to some elements of Islam. Uh, it, it's a little bit... The fact that they have to have an Islam policy concerns me, or they feel that they need to have an, an Islam policy concerns me. Um, but nevertheless, um, they feel they need to. They feel it's something that Australia should uh, should be weary of or uh, need to have policy on. Um, elsewhere, they they have a um, they very much would like to reward big businesses. Uh, they're somewhat no, in fact, they're they're decidedly anti. Uh, environmental movements. They do not, uh, they want immediate withdrawal of Australia's support of uh, the Kyoto Protocol. Um, they strongly support the forestry industry. They, um, they do not support uh, green movements. Um, and they uh, have a stance on refugees. They would like to, I, I guess they see some, uh, they would like to accept registration uh, refugees, quote, who are able to readily integrate into the Australian community and who accept Australia's heritage, end quote. Um, for me, it just seemed a little bit like uh, they support the segregation of refugees. Um, it seemed like they, they perhaps would have some bias um, accepting re refugees from certain places. Um, but, you know, um, you can be the judge. Please check out their website, which is in the uh, it's in the comments of of this video. Um, so yeah, the, the Christian Democratic Party, the Fred Nile Group. Um, if you found this video useful, please click on like. 
and you can even share it if you wish and I will see you at my next uh, party review. Oh my goodness. Oh.